We're back. We're back. Where are we at, hun? Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. We always kick our boardwalk tours off right here. Haven't we done it for what? The last couple of years? Oh, at least. <laughs> we're going to show you what's new here in Ocean City and show you some of the highlights and maybe a little history. So you can see how busy it is. Today is what? Classic cars? Classic car week. So let's stop the rambling and just we're going to start at the inlet and go all the way down and show you some great tips. All right, here we are. We're at the inlet and we're going this way. Can't wait to show you. Make sure you watch the end because I got an update on this boardwalk and it's about 14th Street, so let's keep going. All right, this is a fun fact about Ocean City, Maryland. It is the white marlin capital of the world. Come here in August and you will see these fish being pulled in all across these docks. This represents, I think it's the 50th year. So pull in one of these babies and let's get fishing. Right there, right there. Rio Dave's coming right to you. Look at all these cars going in and out today. This is what the spring car show is like. There are, I don't know, hundreds, if not thousands here. All right, this is brand new. At least I didn't see it last year. It's called Ghoulish Things. It's right next to the haunted house. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, this is cool. You see the little haunted house sign right up here? That's an Ocean City staple. <laughs> Look at all the haunted t-shirts looks like these might glow in the dark <laughs> look there there's the t-shirt of the ocean city haunted mansion <laughs> they even got cups with the haunted house on it there's a 360 inside this store there's the sign i just showed you but over here they got all kinds of little critters you can buy let's move on and right next to the ghoulish things is the main attraction. Here is the haunted house. I might have to go in this thing. I know I say that every time, but there's the electric chair. All right, we mosey along. We just saw that haunted house. That's a famous attraction, but I wanted to tell you, we're doing the good, the bad, and the ugly on this boardwalk, starting with the ugly. It's me. So this is brand new, the Candy Castle. It just opened three weeks ago. My wife has her eye on something. I hope it's not that chocolate covered Swedish fish she got down here on the boardwalk a year ago. That was disgusting. But the fudge is the best I had on this boardwalk so far. All right, this is one of the oldest merry-go-rounds, whatever you want to call it, in the world. All these animals are hand carved. I think it's like a hundred years old, but let me tell you, look at this. These things are incredibly detailed. And it is a must see at Ocean City, Maryland's boardwalk. All right, tell me if you remember this ride when you were little, because I remember it and that was 50 years ago. All right, now we'll tell you, it is a little chilly here. We're in May, but that is not stopping all these people. You're gonna see how crowded this boardwalk is the further we get up through here but any day's a good day for the boardwalk all right you see what i mean all these are got our car guys they came to the car show but they are not missing out on the world famous thrasher's french fries because this is one of the good you got to try it if you've never been to thrasher's ocean city maryland style oh i can smell them now and you got to get vinegar here at the end and salt. Ripley's cargo hold. There's a mirror maze right here. 
and it's very close to the regular Ripley's, which we'll show you again because I got a fun fact about that place. Mirror Maze and Gift Shop. All right, this is the famous Ripley's, and believe it or not, but believe it or not, before this was a Ripley's, this used to be a ballroom where they held dances in like the 30s to the 40s. I'll show you a picture of that, but there's more to Ripley's than just Ripley's. It's the history here. All right, here we are. We're on Caroline Street. We're just gonna keep going, but there's a staple, Candy Kitchen. That thing's been down here forever too. And you cannot go to any boardwalk without walking in the arcades. And this is no exception. There's many of these things on this boardwalk, all kinds of arcades. I see skee-ball in the back. These are the ones you win tickets with. But man, yeah, you gotta come in these places. I love the lights too. Oh, there's Miss Pac-Man. All right, there's the famous Coors Brothers since 1919. That's part of history, but over there is Fisher's Popcorn. If you want caramel popcorn, it is a good on this boardwalk. All right, here's the quiet storm on the boardwalk. This has kind of got some high-end places to shop, but they got some great t-shirts and clothes and apparel. And I've seen flip-flops. Oh, there's some hats. I don't know where my wife is. I know she's in here shopping somewhere, spending money. And do you see how this town celebrates White Marlin Week? They got a whole section of just White Marlin t-shirts. And make sure you find this guy. He recognized us from our videos down here in the channel. Thanks for saying hello. We don't bite. All right, look at this. This is John. He made all this stuff here. Eight years of experience. John, you did a great job, man, on this. I love it. And I'll tell you, there is no shortage of shopping on this Ocean City, Maryland boardwalk. There it is, that famous walking flush. I gotta go in here since 1915. You know I'm going in here. Look at all this fudge here and this. Do you guys make all this candy? Baltimore, okay. Baltimore, Maryland, they make this. Got just about everything in here candy related. I said they've been open since 1900s. And this is one of the not good. This is one of the greats. Loves funnel cakes and lemonade. All right, you can't go to Ocean City without stopping in this place, the Ocean Gallery. If you want photos, pictures, it's all here, I promise you. Number one in the U.S. Uh, it did I mention? It's Car Week. Can you tell by the t-shirts? being sold here. All right, this is the dough roller. This is the pizza place I always say you gotta go. I hope they listened to my recommendations the last time, but we're gonna find out. All right, you can see I'm making that pizza right there and it's going in that oven. Let me tell you, it is good pizza, but I have one complaint about this one versus New Jersey, and it's the size of their slices. We want the two-handed slices. It's a two-hander slice. How's that? Thin? And crunchy. And crunchy. Look at this guy along the boardwalk just painting these pictures. All right, this is a special day because we got to meet Alberto on the boardwalk. He is a fantastic, incredible artist. Go see him. Tell him along for the journey sent you. Been signed by a seagull, so that's nice. <laughs> I'm not going to charge you extra for that, but it will wipe right off. Okay. So there's that old geezer who does his art on the boardwalk. <laughs> and that's the geezer's wife. That's your real really? wife? Yep. This is Benson and Trevor and Officer Chip Green and Joe Lockwin. And we lost Chip during COVID. Oh. Really sad. There's Jay flying his kites and Bill flying his plane. There's Franco and his shop loves lemonade. And then all of Park Place lighting up for the evening. Wow, you're a special, special person. This is the Big Kite Festival. It's the international. It's the last week of April every year. Here's the Kite Fest, the Kite Loft in all its glory with the U.S. flag, the Maryland flag. Which one's your favorite? Of course, this one. Yeah? I sit here every day. That's awesome. Thank you. Look at these shirts in this store. 
anything you could want is in here. I've always loved this blue hotel, but what I'm seeing over here that I do not remember is Planet Wings. Now that sounds good. All right, there's the kite loft, and here comes the tram. Hop on, hop off. Look at this guy swimming in the wind. Is that cool or what? Oh, and I never get tired of this place. This is the kite loft. If you like flying kites, and I got a whole video on the kite festival down here in Ocean City, Maryland. Don't miss that. I'll put a link in the description. But man, it's such a unique store in here. Oh, that's cool. A little T-Rex or dinosaur. Oh, there's Jaws in Ocean City. This must be the hot air balloon section. Can you see yourself in this blue house here? right on the boardwalk. All right, this is new. I kind of remember them working on this last time. This is a, a Love's, which has great funnel cakes, but this looks like a new location. I think we're right around 7th or 8th Street. There's the Pizza Boss and Candy Kitchen. We keep walking up for this surprise update. I'll get you there. There's an Annie Ann's, the T-Shirt Factory, Milano's Pizzeria. And there is a famous place. I know a lot of people have said you got to try this place, the Alaska Stand, because it's been here since 1933. And this is the original on 9th Street, Alaska Stand. All right, here's what we're trying to get to, the cheese wheel. It's on 11th Street. We got two to go because it's a hot spot on this boardwalk. All right, here we made it. It is the cheese wheel pasta. Wait till you see this thing because I love it. And I'm hungry. This is a cheese wheel pasta. You pick your pasta, your meat, shrimp, chicken, broccoli, whatever you want, and they mix it for you in a cheese wheel. She's preparing the cheese wheel here. How many meals can you get out of that wheel? Uh, a lot. Wow. Almost seven or eight days, we'll Okay. Right so that lasts one week, that cheese wheel in the summer it's a lot of cheese man and then what they do if you got anything ordered on the top of that like shrimp or pork they add it in your dish she said that block of cheese that cost a thousand bucks crepe daddy crepe daddy it does look good but not as good as this all right here's one of my favorite places to eat brass balls you've seen it in many of my videos but do you see the blues brothers up there and here comes the tram, right past brass balls. These people got the right idea. All right, you just saw me have that pasta and she was right. She recommended the meat sauce and that was amazing. But this is the update I wanted to give you. This building right here, you can see it's still covered in this chain link fence, but this is supposed to be the Margaritaville. But the update on this is they couldn't get the permits or something because the place was gonna be too big. So they decided to cut Margaritaville down into a smaller Margaritaville. Hopefully till I come back with another update, this building will be gone and construction on the new one will have begun. <laughs> My wife just went in this store Look at all these souvenirs. I think it's a sensation. These places are all over in Ocean City. Now here's a fun fact about Ocean City, Maryland you probably didn't know about. How many people do you think come here? They're expecting 8 million this year. Yeah, he's pretty good. I wonder how many candy kitchens are really located on this big boardwalk because I know it's a lot. Oh, look at all these gummies. That's enough gummies to choke on. Homemade candy since 1937. All right, I've been coming to this boardwalk a long time. This is the first I've seen it. Jessica's Fudge House. Let's see what this looks like, another candy store. What is that, hon? You buy these little jars, right? 
and they fill it with candy, and then you pick the name of the person. So this would be Aaron's candy. Oh, and they Isn't put candy cute? in it? Yeah, you get it filled up with candy. Sweet. It's Jessica's fudge. Homemade. I don't know if I can get, oh, there we got it. Can you see what we got? We got chocolate peanut butter with nuts in, and she said it's like a Snickers. Look at that. Can you see it? Mm. That's good. Finally, they got the kites up here in Ocean City. Again, it's not a pretty day, but a bad day at Ocean City is still better than a day at work. I hope you like this update video. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Baby, we were on it.